Hey everyone, Fahrenheit4051 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at these two fire alarm bells. On the left we have my Simplex 4080, and on the right we have my Simplex 4080. Yep, Simplex decided to give these two the same exact model number, despite the fact that the gong sizes are clearly different. Now, both of these are vibrating bells, and both run on 24 volts DC. They draw the same amount of current at 110 milliamps, and they were both originally made by Faraday which was Simplex's go-to for audible signals at the time. The 4080 series was produced from the 1970s to the 1980s, when it was superseded by the 2901 series of bells. The 2901 series introduced different model numbers for each different size of gong, with the 2901-9331 being the 4-inch version, the 2901-9332 being the 6-inch version, and the 2901-9333 being the 10-inch version of the vibrating models. Now, the 2901s introduced a few new features, namely that they use screw terminals instead of these pigtails right here. The screws that are used to attach the gong to the striking mechanism on the 10-inch 4080 are very awkward to mount, and they require sticking a screwdriver in sideways. So the way they fix that in the 2901 series is by offsetting this bolt from the center to somewhere t closer to the bottom. This means that it attaches directly to the striking mechanism without the need for that awkward metal frame, making it much easier to install. Now, you may be wondering, what was the purpose for making these in a bunch of different gong sizes? Well, for one, the 4-inch versions were almost never used as building evacuation signals, and were rather used as trouble bells wired directly into the panel's trouble contacts. In some systems in the state of New York, Sometimes you would see a location somewhere near the fire panel where you'd have multiple bells arranged neatly in a row. The small one would be for trouble, the medium for smoke detectors, and the large one would be for water flow alarms. Or you might just see small for trouble and large for fire, which still it would be separate from the general evacuation signal. Now, in buildings where bells are the primary evacuation signal, sometimes you'll even see a mix of 6 and 10 inch bells used for the exact same purpose. Or you'll see one or the other. It all depends, really. The larger the gong, the louder the sound, and the lower the pitch, even though the current draw on these two is identical. Now, with all that in mind, it's time to go ahead and set them off. So the 4-inch one sounded a lot more like just a telephone ringer, while the 10-inch one was more like your stereotypical fire alarm you'd see in cartoons and movies. Now, that's pretty much it for today. If you'd like to watch to the end, there's some bonus content with these bells ringing together, and then another one where my 4-inch 4080 is ringing alongside the 2901-9838. Alright, thank you everyone for watching, and have a wonderful weekend.